At this time one year ago, former University of Georgia linebacker Natrez Patrick was not on a path that would lead to him being selected in the NFL draft. The Bulldogs were coming off a season in which they made the college football playoff, but Patrick wasn't there for the run to the national championship. He was forced to leave the team after the SEC championship and check into a drug rehabilitation facility in Augusta, Georgia. Multiple marijuana arrests led Patrick to that point. He had already been suspended four games earlier in the 2017 season due to a previous violation of the Georgia student-athlete drug policy. Missing the playoff, and knowing that his future was in serious jeopardy, put the former four-star recruit in a position where he was forced to make a decision, clean up, or consider your football career over. Basically, when I had that time alone and I had that time by myself, I had to come to a crossroads, Patrick told 247 Sports in a recent interview, reflecting on some of his darkest days. Like, what ultimately did I want to do, Patrick, 21, leaned heavily on those closest to him while at this crossroads, his family members made it clear that they would support him, regardless of whether he wanted, would be able to continue his football career at Georgia. But head coach Kirby Smart wasn't ready to give up on him. When Smart gave him another chance to play for the Bulldogs in 2018, Patrick knew that the football field was where he wanted to be. In order to stay on it, though, he had to stay out of trouble. Once Patrick came to that realization, everything changed for him. I had to prioritize and make a decision on what I, personally, wanted to do. And I know football is what that was, so it was a certain change, Patrick said, snapping his fingers. My back was against the wall, and I had no other choice, the choice Patrick made was the right one. He came back for a successful senior season at Georgia, playing in all 14 games and starting eight of them. The thumping linebacker recorded 44 tackles, 4.5 for a loss for a Georgia team that finished the regular season with just one loss and fell to Alabama in the SEC championship on a last-minute touchdown. While Patrick's on-the-field performance and off-the-field behavior have him approaching a path to get drafted, he has a few more hurdles to clear before he'll actually hear his name called this spring. Patrick was not invited to the NFL scouting combine in Indianapolis, so he's working with athletic trainer Chip Smith and Gwinnett until the Georgia Pro Day in Athens on March 20. During this time, Patrick, who played inside linebacker at over 240 pounds in college, is looking to get lighter and faster before the draft. The 6'3 defender wants to show NFL talent evaluators that he can also play with speed. I've always had a heavier frame, Patrick said. I think these teams know that I can be physical, I play physical, because of my bigger build. They want to see me run. They want to see me be able to go, so that's why I'm making that the focal point of my training and everything I've been doing lately. If Patrick can, in fact, impress NFL scouts, he'll become the latest in a long line of former Georgia linebackers to enter the professional ranks. Current NFL linebackers, inside and outside, Thomas Davis, Justin Houston, Alec Ogletree, Leonard Floyd, and Roquan Smith are all UGA products. Those are tough acts to follow, Davis was a three-time pro bowler with the Carolina Panthers, Houston led the NFL in sacks with 22.0 sacks for the Kansas City Chiefs in 2014, Ogletree returned two of his five interceptions for touchdowns with the New York Giants last season and Floyd and Smith are both starters for the Chicago Bears, who fielded the league's best defense in 2019. Can Patrick become the next Bulldog to dominate the linebacker position at the next level? I hope so, he said. I'm blessed to even be in that fraternity of brothers, in order to be drafted and make an NFL team, Patrick will have to prove that he has truly turned a corner in his life. He thanks Coach Smart for giving him another chance after his tumultuous 2017 and points to his clean 2018 as a start, a promise, of sorts, that his future will remain bright. That's where Patrick plans to keep his focus. He's not running from his past, he's just eager to show that his arrow is now pointing up. I don't shy away from it, Patrick said. It's something that I've been though.
it doesn't define me, and now I'm just looking forward, excited for what the future has in store for me.